So in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the voicings that my favorite modern guitarists like Julian Lodge and Galad Hexelman use all the time in their playing and compositions. And these voicings are called spread triads. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos on this subject, um, what a spread triad is, is say for example, I was playing F, A, and, or sorry, this is G, B, and D. If I was playing G, B, and D, and I do that in that order, this is what we would call a closed position triad, because all of these notes happen within one octave of each other. If I wanted to make this a spread triad, what I would do is I would go up to my D here, and I take this third and put it up an octave. So this becomes this. And the thing that's beautiful about this is this gives me some wider intervals, which puts more space into my chords. And these spread triads have such a beautiful kind of tonal quality to them. That's really just gorgeous. I absolutely love the sound of these chords. So let's look at all of our spread triads in either root position, third and bass, or fifth and bass. On the D, well, I'll just say root on the D string, because sometimes the fingering changes for these. But let's jump in. My favorite way to kind of get these under my fingers is to use what I would call a harmonized major scale, which means you basically play all of the triads of a major scale in succession. So, we would use the key of F. This is our first one. If you want to download these diagrams so that you can print them out or just have them to, to look at without having to, you know, listen to me blather on in the video, if you don't want to watch it again to see them, you can go to my website and download them for free. Um, but here is our F major. Now we're going to go to G minor. We're going to go to A minor. That's going to bring us to B flat major. C major, then we get D minor, E diminished, ooh, I hit a bum note, there it is, and then we get F major again, and now here we go all the way back down, so E diminished, D minor, C, B flat, ooh, I'm plucking the wrong string, A minor, G minor, then we end up back at F. Now when we get to these third and bass chords, things get a little bit more complicated for our uh, left hand, unfortunately. But again, if you're, if you're struggling with these, please be kind to yourself while you practice them. And I swear, it will get easier to play them. And they're such a beautiful, beautiful sound. It's really worth kind of putting the effort in and the time for your hands to learn how to make these shapes. But this third and bass chord, so right, right there we were playing root position, which is root, fifth, and then the third up an octave. So now we have the third, the root, and the fifth up an octave. And this shape is going to look like this. So let's use the key of C major. So I've got two, five, three in my uh, left hand here. And we'll go C major, D minor, this is a, this is a bit of a reach, E minor, F major, G major, it's going to take us to A minor, this B diminished is a bit of an awkward one, we end up with this, and then we end up back on C, go back to B diminished, A minor, uh, G, F, E minor, minor. C major. Then we have one more inversion of these to do, which is going to be our fifth and bass chords. And for these, what key do I want to do? Let's say we use the key of B flat. B flat major? Eh, yeah, let's do B flat. So these guys gonna look like this again quite a big big reach and I do get comments sometimes I have been very fortunate that I have big long skinny fingers 
but I swear on my life I have seen people with smaller hands achieve these chords as well. Um, and the problem with this, um, you could do an alternate fingering for these actually, um, but it only really works well for major because in minor you end up doing just as big of a big of a reach. So give the ones that are on the screen a shot and then if you can't get it, see if you can figure out a different way to finger them. But really, I think these things just all take time. So be kind to yourself while you work on this and let's try it in the key of B flat major. So these voicings are gonna go fifth, um, third, root is gonna be the layout of them. And so we get this B flat major here. Then we're gonna have a C minor. Minor shape's a little easier. D minor. E flat major. F major. Here we're getting a G minor. Here we get A diminished, and then we're going to go up to our B major. We're going to go back to A diminished, G minor, oh, grabbed the wrong string there. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. We get this F, um, where am I going? There we go. E flat, my four chord, D minor, C minor, and then B flat again. So again, these shapes are tricky. Please be kind to yourself while you work on these. And if, if it starts hurting your hand, you know, take a break, stretch, see what happens. Um, don't just do these for like five hours a day and get tendonitis, please. Um, and then obviously once you get comfortable with this and a couple different keys doing this harmonized major scale thing, the next best thing to do is apply it to music that you're already working on or music that you're trying to learn so that you have some kind of practical applications for these. I might make some uh, future videos about voice leading or guided comping using these shapes because I think there's a really a lot of beauty to be extracted from these, you know, crazy, um, these beautiful chords. So I really hope you found this useful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you could know. If you'd like to take a guitar lesson with me, I'll have a link to my uh, contact page in the description below. I'd absolutely love to work with you. I've been working with a bunch of uh, people who found me through YouTube, and it's been really fun to connect with people all over the world. And last but not least, I've got new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday. I'd absolutely love to see you in the next one. And until I do, I'll wish you a wonderful day, and I hope you get to have some fun playing the guitar. Thank you so much for watching.